What's up guys, girls, and other homogenous organisms? I'm in the uh, GD editor with an idea. So these are coins, right? They've been around for a hot minute. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, Robtop has put them in his official levels when they were released in update 1.6. However, they've been they've been sitting there just, just like that ever since. So um, I'm gonna take it upon myself. I wanna see if I can go through these and uh, modernize them a little bit. Before we get into it though, I do just wanna say that only a really small portion of you guys watching are actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy the video, please do subscribe because it does help me out a lot. And I'm trying to get 100K sometime before I die. All right, now let's get into it. So yeah, so we're gonna go through, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit these all into one part. I might have to split this up into multiple videos and maybe I'll only do the last part or the next video if this one does well. But I'm gonna try and get through maybe like at least the first 10 levels. Maybe it might not happen because that's 30 coins, but we'll see. So starting off, we have Stereo Madness first coin. This one's, it's iconic. You can click like that or, or you can do it like that. Either one works. I don't think we're gonna mess with the placement of this coin. I think we're just gonna make the the animation uh, a bit flashier. First of all, these these little hidden blocks, they're, they're, those are so like 1.0, I, I guess. <laughs> so my idea, let's, let's separate this platform a little bit. So we got this going on. Then I think what we can do here <clears throat> Let's give these both group IDs. Group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. Just so it doesn't look weird, we're going to move this over by 1. And my idea here, group 1 down like, what was it, like 90, I think? Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, so it took a bit of uh, tweaking, but I, I think I'm actually quite content with this. It looks clean enough, and the pathway does work. Um, it's a little bit unsight readable, but I think that's fine. Actually, not even, it's decently sight readable. I mean, the idea of coins, you're not supposed to be able to get them like first try. You're supposed to be like, oh, so that's what happens. Maybe we can add some like guide arrows to show like you're supposed to jump here. And then the player will see like, oh, I can I can not jump. And then I get a coin. Yeah, I'm actually very content with this. This is uh, pretty good. So now we can move on to the second one. Second coin's also pretty iconic here. You just, you go, you go up. Um, how do I modernize this one? That's interesting. I could be lame and turn it into like a key, but I don't really want to do that. Maybe we can do like a hidden orb. Yeah, that might actually do it. Oh, it's Stereo Madness. You haven't been introduced to orbs yet. <laughs> I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Like the whole point of this is we're modernizing the coins with 2.1 stuff. You haven't been introduced to moving objects yet either, but we're doing that. So I think that you could probably manage this. Maybe we'll put like a question mark where the orb is, so you know, like, oh, maybe there's, maybe there's something. You know, maybe we put an arrow. Because as we do with the last one, it's kind of, like, obvious. Like, you might be like, oh, it's babying the player. Okay, it's Stereo Madness, bro. Like, we're, you have to. I think that's a pretty simple yet elegant solution. Uh, I do want to give them some diversity. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not doing more moving object stuff because I don't want it to be the exact same thing. But, anyways, third coin. Okay, so we've got like this secret area, and then we got some, some shenanigans, and then we get it. Okay, so what I think, I think we go up here to get a key, and then it just makes the rest of this section harder. That that's what I think. All right, how do we buff this now? Put some spikes here. I think it's only fitting that we make this one kind of um, more difficult than the other ones because honestly, the last coin, Stereo Madness, used to be the one that was infamous for being like really hard. So I, I think it's I think it's right if we honor that tradition again. There we go. All right, this looks promising. So if we don't get it, the section is perfectly normal, and if we do get it. Oh, perfect. It it works f flawlessly. 
It's pretty hard. Okay, I can move the coin down, I guess. Alright. Let's get it. Okay, we got that, we got that. Do this. Bit tricky, bit tricky. And then... Boom! Easy. I'll probably move the coin down a little bit more because... Um, it's already on the spikes. There we go, that's that's good. So I think we're good now. I think we can move on to uh, back on track. All right, what's up, y'all? I'm back. Um, many days after I recorded the first part. Basically, the story with this is I recorded a bunch of the rest of the video, but I wasn't happy with it. I was, I don't know, I was really quiet. I just, the video, it wasn't, it wouldn't have been good if I edited it how it was. I think that's good, but I think maybe we could use like, we can add some spikes here to, to show you you gotta jump. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna show you really quick the modifications I did make. So starting first with back on track, the coin usually you just like fall off the path here and there's like a there's like a, a pad or something weird like that. Um, but now there's a green orb. And the reason I think this is good too is because the portal, the blue portal, is always visible with the coin. So I think it's good because you can be like, oh, maybe I got to do something with uh, with gravity here. So I, I like that. I was pretty content with that. Now the ship one is a bit, it's a bit goofy. It's a bit quirky, but normally you fly in here for it, right? All right, well now you got to fly through this and whoa. And there's the coin. <laughs> Now, the coin, yes, it doesn't get revealed until after you already, like, it doesn't get revealed till you do the thing, but I think it's fine, because I feel like this is a pretty obvious hint that there's something, I feel like this is pretty, you know, it, it's just begging you to fly through there. And the third coin, which is, oh, it's here. Huh? Oh! Oh! That's right, I forgot. Further back in the level, <clears throat> there's this key you can grab. And then when you get up to this part, it makes a little bit of, like, harder gameplay. And then the coin gets revealed. I don't think this one's, like, great, but, you know, it's, you know, eh, whatever. It's fine. Overall, I'm content with the changes. Polar Geist uh, has a couple of... That's pretty goofy, pretty silly. First one is a really simple change. I didn't really change much. The only thing I did is instead of it being static blocks... Oh, look at that. You gotta fly in between the blocks and get the coin. It's not that hard. I think it's... I, I think it's fine. I think it'd be fine for a 2.1 coin update, you know? Now, the second coin does the same sort of thing I did in Stereo Madness a little bit. Like that. Um, if you don't go for the coin, you know, it still works like normal. But it is very obvious that there is something there, you know? So that's the second coin. Oh, the third coin I changed, like, completely. Because the third coin, we all know the Polar Grass third coin, it sucks, it's jank, it's just, it's really bad. So I tried my best to fix it. Uh, you click this blue orb and boom, look at that. You know, you can play the level just fine normally. The only downside to this one is the coin is way less hidden now than it used to be. It's like obvious that it's right there. But I think it's worth it to have like better gameplay. Try out! Um, <laughs> this is pretty goofy. Um, the first coin, I make it fall into the ground here to try and hint like, hey, you're gonna have to fall off of one of these platforms. And basically, it's the one that it was the light blue one, so the, the other two glow green. No, one of them glows light blue to signify, hey, you gotta fall off here. It's, you know, it's not the it's not the most revolutionary, but, you know, I think it's the job done. I think it, I think it signifies at least a little bit better that, you know, there there is something. Oh, this, uh, yeah, this fourth one also glows green. So you got three that glow green and one that doesn't to try and signify that, I guess. The second coin, uh, I have all these platforms leading up to it move down a bit. Um, and then the coin moves up to, to I, I don't know, I, I, I tried to do something that would sort of make it, because, like, I tried to make it more, you know, 
you know, give you a bit of a more hint, a little bit of, a, of more of a hint of what you have to do here. Honestly, I thought this coin was pretty fine in general, so I, I don't know, I didn't really know how to improve it, really. Uh, last coin is in this ship part, I think. Oh, yeah, I just, I just have some extra little spike blocks and they slightly move. Doesn't really make it much harder, but you know, y you feel like it's harder. That's that's basically what I was going for. Base after base. Okay. First coin is out oh, all the way back here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the first coin of base after base, you used to be able to get yeah, by just falling off here. Can't do that now. You have to go up here and you fall like perfectly into it. So I'm actually pretty proud of this one because it makes you do an alternate route to be able to get the coin. Because otherwise you don't really have the momentum, you know, you can't jump into it and you can't fall into it. But here you slide right in. So I'm pretty happy with that one. I'll just play up to the second one. Oh, the second one's actually kind of hard, I think. So I think it used to be... It used to be like right around here, right? Yeah, you gotta... Yeah, and then you gotta... Oh, God. Oh, that's right. You have to do the same thing, but you have to... Yeah, 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 you gotta hit the black orb like that. But I remember because it's possible to... Yeah, like, you can you can make it onto that block, or you can, like, jump off the very corner of... Of this. Yeah, so I, I, I made an alternate route... <laughs> In case you do that, so it's like a double secret way, really. It's a, it's like a double coin route. But yeah, this is like the vanilla way of doing it. And then the third coin, which is like right after it here. Oh yeah, I just made it a little bit more challenging <laughs> since beforehand taking the coin route was literally easier than doing it the normal way. Because it requires less clicks. So yeah, base after base I'm content with. I, I think it's alright. Can't let go, I think I got real fruity with. Oh yeah, so I have the hidden gameplay sort of appear as you pass by it. And you have to basically click this pink orb to cancel out the, mo the momentum of the pad. So that's that one. I'm, I'm, I think this one's good. I mean, it relies on a lot of... A lot of these coins rely on like opacity tricks to be hidden and, and, and clever. But I mean, what else am I gonna do, really? Like, that's it's just what it's gotta be. Second coin, I went real, real, really silly with. It's the same gameplay, but now it's like more, I don't know, I think it's a little bit harder, basically. Yeah, cause that like, that little ground spike wasn't there before. And the third coin, you have to click that blue orb. And, oh God, oh God. Oh, there we go. I actually do like this one because you can still play regularly, but there's like, you know, this obviously doesn't work. But there's there's just way more stuff going on, so it's it's a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I like how it looks. I think I think it looks kind of neat when everything's a little bit hectic. Um, I don't think you can just fall off and get the coin, right? Oh no, I'm wrong. You can. Yeah, that works. So we we move the coin. Uh, okay, my game's not working. Yeah, so you can play regularly. The thing I like too about this is uh, some parts in the coin route kind of sync to the music, which I think is pretty cool. Like it's like like the the pad part I think does. It's like. Yeah, like that, right? Sort of. So that's Can't Let Go. And that was, uh... Did I even... I didn't save. But yeah, that was where I had gotten up to in the original video. And now that I've given you a rundown of everything I did in that video, I think that we should probably do, like, maybe two more levels to sort of make up for the time. So we're gonna go over to Rob's Vault, your handy-dandy level copy account. And we're gonna take Jumper then. If this video does well, I might make a, a, a follow-up doing more levels. 
it, originally when I did this, I planned to try and do 10 until I realized how long this took, so I only got through six. So I think that I'll do two or three more, maybe, probably only two more, but if I end up getting through them really quick, then I'll do, um, I'll do cycles. First jumper coin is, oh, it's this one. Hmm, what can we do here? I have always thought this coin isn't, like, great. Um, but I, I've never really been sure on how to fix it. Okay, I've got an idea. So the whole thing here is the switching gravity, right? What if, and we make it to where, uh, I don't know, let's say like you, uh, say you click like this toggle orb or, or whatever, right? What if the toggle orb just, just makes like, a bunch more teleport, or a bunch more gravity portals just everywhere. I think that works as a bit better of a challenge. And then just to double check, if you don't, click the orb. Yeah, nothing's different. So, yeah. I mean, it's not great because the coin is still hidden, but again, I feel like if you... I feel like if you get to the end and see that you're missing a coin, you'll think, hmm, what did I see in that level? That was a little bit suspicious. And you'll think about the toggle orb, right? So this coin... Honestly, this coin's pretty solid. I don't... I don't entirely know what to do to fix this. Maybe we make, like, a whole another like, alternate set of gameplay or something. There we go. But you do get back on track after a little bit. <laughs> back on track! So yeah, you do fall back onto the main path after a minute. Uh... Alright, let's see. I think that's fine. Yeah, I actually quite like this one. Alright, cool. Uh, jumper coin three then. Where it at? Where it at? Oh, it's just down here. I'm not really sure how to make this one too much harder. Or not, not harder, but like better. Sorry, you guys know where my mind's really at, huh? Um... Hmm, okay. This one, again, is really solid. I just, I don't really know how to make it better. It's a cool little timing jump, but I'm not sure how you improve on it. Okay, here's an idea. What if we just, like, move it all the way back to the start? Because I like this jump a lot, and I think, like, I think a lot of people take this anyway. So what if we just, what if we just reward the people for it? That's, that's my idea. You do the jump, you get the coin. Hold on, how do you survive this? I forgot. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, we'll just boom, right there. Boom, coin fixed. Easy. Next. Okay, so this one's devious, because it is in the mirror section, and you have to do this, like, little tight flying thing. Um, I think there's ways to improve this. I wouldn't call it modernizing, but there are definitely ways to make it better. First of all, get this out of here. We're not doing this anymore. That's stupid. We're not doing it. Yeah, what if his eye is, like, the secret path? I think that'd be something, you know? Dude, what if we just steal Stereo Madness' this thing? <laughs> and just make, like, a secret flying way up here? Boom, Kaizo Time Machine. I mean, Time Machine's already known for having, like, a million billion triple spikes, so, you know? Here's some more. A penny for your thoughts. Triple spike for your thoughts. Alright, let's see here. How does this, how does this work? Oh, beautiful, absolutely masterclass. Truly magnificent, okay. Certainly works. <laughs> uh, I don't think there was any saving this coin, so you know what, I did the best I could. Let's, let's see how this looks in actual gameplay. <laughs> this is why I don't know whether to call this like upgrading or improving because I feel like some of these might not necessarily be improvements but you know 
I think they're they're modern. Modernizing is probably what I'll end up going with for the title, but you know. Anywho, last one. Um, probably the last one I'm gonna do because this has taken out a hot minute I've ever been recording for like 45 minutes. It's a good coin, but again, there's like literally zero indication that you should fall here. So, what if? All right, let's try that one on for size. Um, I'll make these orbs a bit less visible. How's that? Those are still pretty, pretty visible. Um, okay. 0.05. Oh, that's level of hidden eye like. Um. Oh yeah, and now it's way more obvious that there's like something up there. So you know. I think it's it's good. So yeah, those are all the coins. I probably won't publish these levels because they are literally just official levels with the coins changed. I don't know if if you want me to. I guess I could. Notification. Yeah. Um, but with that said, if this video does well, then you know I can do more. I'll do cycles through, like, I don't know, electrodynamics or something. There actually are, there's some coins I can think of in, in, in those, like, next six or seven levels that could probably use some improving, and I'm the man, so, you know. But yeah, with that said, um, thanks for watching. Sorry it took so long. Um, was not happy with the old video, but uh, I think I'm gonna be much happier with this one. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, get this video to 45 quintillion likes, and I will post my address online.